Hey there, I wanna show you how we're going to expand our rainwater catchment system. Here's a 275 gallon tote, and we've been catching off this one corner of our house for a couple of years now, and we use this to water our hoop house, which I will show you here in just a minute. But what I wanna do is expand it, because every year, every spring, this overflows. We don't capture as much water as we could, even with this small corner of the house. Now what I would like to do is get you know a nice new thousand gallon cistern and put it right there. That'd be probably the right amount uh, for the catchment area for this area for this part of the uh, the house. But we can't swing that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we're going to double the capacity here by stacking another one of these IBC totes right on top, and then I'll show you how we're going to connect them together. Right, this rainwater expansion project is complete. I want to show you a couple things real quick. Uh, number one, these IBC totes that I have have these uh, butterfly valves, not the ball valves, which are not as good. And um, in fact, this one down here, it leaks just a little bit, you know, like a few drops an hour type of, of leak. And that's why I put the secondary out here. And eventually this will have a, a hose bib on it. And then this, this uh, rainwater catchment over here will supply that hoop house down there and then some raised beds that are gonna be right next to it. And it may even supply some of this nursery area uh, in this, this little garden area. In fact, it will when I tie it in with that rainwater catchment system as well. All of that will be uh, irrigated from rainwater down here. And uh, that worked out, that's worked out really well for us over the last couple of years, few years actually. In fact, last year, that one tote supplied the entirety of that greenhouse or that hoop house irrigation, which was pretty awesome. I mean, we just, you know, we got just enough rain, just barely any rain during the, the summer, and it was, it was just enough for us. So anyway, um, as far as tying this together, Again, I kept it very simple. You could do unions and all that kind of stuff if you wanted to make it easier to isolate one or the other. But again, very, very simple. This will fill, comes down here. In fact, it's raining a lot right now. It'll obviously go all the way down because that's open. This will fill first, it'll raise its way back up and then we'll, it'll come up there. Now with this catchment area that we have here, it, this will at times fill both, but that's gonna be somewhat of a rarity. I don't know, we'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. It is possible to fill this whole side um, in, in kind of a rare events, but that's how spring is for us. It's real wet uh, during the spring and then it dries out in the summer. Okay, that's just a general characterization. And then what I also had to do over here is I had to raise this up. So I've got this just real small fl first flush system for the main big stuff. I don't have a, a, a large first flush system because this is pure just irrigation for plants. That's it. That's what it's used for. So I, all I had to do is raise that up and it probably can't tell, but it's now it's, you know, it's a slight decline now and drain into these tanks and filling up. And that's it. So this is a simple project. We had uh, this extra IBC tote laying around. So it didn't cost us anything other than the PVC components and valves. So maybe, maybe $20 uh, initial cost for the IBC tote. 
think I got them for about $100 a piece, $100 a piece, food grade type IBC totes. So this whole rainwater catchment system here, uh, you know, if we really went back and counted all the costs, would have been, uh, you know, $220 or something close to that. All right, there you go. All right, there you go. There's the, uh, the rainwater catchment expansion system. We've got our other rainwater catchment system hooked back up. In fact, that that tank is, it's like three quarters full already here just in, in spring, um, a short period of time with these rains. And we, we do that. We'll fill, fill these tanks pretty quickly, at least that one. That's got a, a much larger catchment area. I really need a thousand or maybe even a 1500. Could maybe even 2,500 gallon. You know, appropriate size would be 1,500 gallons there, based on the catchment area that that's that's supplying that. I, I just haven't been able to get a cistern like that yet, but we will eventually. And like I said, though, between that tank and these these tanks, it will supply, literally supply, all of the hoop house, and then this year. We're putting in some raised beds over there. And then also we've got this kind of nursery area here. And then there's this little guild area where it's got like uh, some hazelnuts, it's got blackberries and it's got uh, goji is in there and a, and a few other little things. It'll probably supply all the water needs for that as well. It won't supply all the, all the water needs that we have on this property, but this is a really good start. Gravity fed water providing us with, um, uh, you know, that, next level of, of self-sufficiency that uh, makes us feel good and, and pro provides good good water it reduces pressure off of our well all those good things is one of the reasons why uh, we we expanded our rainwater catchment system and will continue to do so in